have you ever seen a group of crows and wondered what they're called? Well, get ready to be surprised, because a group of crows is called a murder. That's right, a murder of crows. Sounds dark and mysterious, right? But there's a lot more to these fascinating birds than just their spooky name. But where did the term murder come from? Let's take a look. The term murder dates back to the 15th century. It likely comes from the crow's dark appearance, their eerie calls, and their association with death in certain cultures. Creepy? Maybe. But these birds are so much more than just a mysterious symbol. Crows are incredibly social creatures. They love to gather in large groups, especially in the winter when they roost together to stay warm and keep each other safe. But did you know crows are super smart? These birds can use tools, solve complex puzzles, and even recognize human faces. They're problem solvers, and some have even been seen dropping nuts onto roads, waiting for cars to crack them open, and then swooping down when it's safe to grab a snack. Smart, right? Now, while murder is the most well-known term for a group of crows, there are actually a few other names too. You might hear people say a horde, a parcel, or even a storytelling of crows. Talk about variety. But wait, there's more. Crows communicate using a complex system of vocalizations and body language, and they're known to have incredible memories. In fact, if you upset a crow, it might just remember your face, for a long time. Yikes! Crows have played important roles in cultures around the world, often symbolizing intelligence, adaptability, and even acting as messengers between worlds. The term murder may sound spooky, but it also reflects how remarkable and unique these birds truly are. So the next time you see a group of crows, remember, you're looking at a murder. Pretty cool, right? If you enjoyed learning about these amazing birds, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fascinating animal facts. Thanks for watching.